Tevla! Oh god, where is she? Tevla! Tevla? You better be down here. Oh god, don't tell me that she's sleeping in the middle of the day. Little vampiric bloodsucker probably is. Tev? Tev? Sure enough, Tev! 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 Ugh! What? Oh my- oh, Get up! Get up! Drive. It's time to go! What? It's time to go! Oh. Come on, get your butt downstairs. It's time to go. But I... Hold on a second. I'm running a wool business here, a colored wool business, and I have, you know, a very, very expensive commission coming up for a portal. Yeah, you, it's, it's no secret that you've been encroaching on my business model in nether construction, all right? Ugh. But that's not the reason why I'm here today. Today, I'm calling in your debt, so get your butt downstairs. My, We're leaving. My debt? Yeah, your debt. Get your butt downstairs. Come on. Ugh, you don't want me to strike. repossess the mansion, do you? Or manor. There's just no arguing with you, is there? No, there is none. And if you don't get out that door and you help me with this project, then I'm going to repossess the manor now. Go. You Come on. Can't let's get moving. Possess my manor. I can repossess your manor. Strife Solutions has been in the business of real estate for ages. How do you think we became so wealthy? Certainly wasn't interstellar travel. It's by like house flipping. Not house flipping. Stealing houses right out from underneath villagers and then renting them right back to them. Oh well, of course. Supply and demand. I drive them out of the market and then I sell it right back to them. Okay, whatever. So what is your your new project this time? My, well, it's going to be big and it's going to be beautiful, but unfortunately I need help. I need help, Tev, and it's going to be a bit of a ride. It's going to be a bit of a travel to get back out there. Oh, so, it's a long way away, isn't it? Yes, it is a long way away. Trust Ugh. me, this is going to be long and it's going to be painful. It will not be quick nor easy. Right, Tev, like I told you, this place is, it's great. It's great. Uh -huh. It's, sure. yes, it's yeah. going to be the future. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm positive it's going to be the future. It's. You said that about the last one. Yeah, well, th listen. <laughs> no one expected the TNT event, all right? <laughs> well, I mean, when you make that many and store it in a, you know, flammable building. Listen, just because I was storing baby formula and TNT in the same warehouse next to gasoline, you know. Well, I mean, I know you based it off of the villagers already storing things like that there, but you know, going off of pre-made systems is not always the best thing to do. Uh, you do have a good point, which is actually the reason why we're out here this time around. The villagers oh, I... are dumb. I, I, ma I made the dumb of trying to cut corners by, um, and as you can see, I already set up a camp out here. So. Oh yeah, you did. We've we've already got a we've already got a shipment out at the end of the road. Like the th this is actually oh. a road to nowhere right now. So. Oh. So we're going into some backwater. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, it is it is it is the most incredible. Middle backwater. of nowhere. Yes, exactly. Like it 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 took like let me tell you, let me tell you, it it took us it it took a hefty fund. I had to pay a union contract to get this road built. Oh no, how terrible for you. Uh, exactly. Goddamn unions. Taking money out of my pocket. Stupid workers wanting fair wages. That's, I guess that's probably the best possible way to make a strife sad. <laughs> that's pretty much the way that goes. All right, here we go. Road to nowhere. Welcome Road to nowhere. Welcome to the future. Welcome to the future. Ooh. Population. Three sheep. Three of them? Yeah. Great, I already have 10 There's seconds. two charge on the hill rent. and one... Oh. <laughs> Do sheep make money? They will once I crack the whip hard enough. All Do right. sheep understand wealth? 
This is what we're looking at, Tev. This is what we're looking at. There's um there's a local village just over the hill over over that way. And let me tell you, I think I figured out how to train all of those dum dums. I finally all, figured all of them, out. Huh? Yeah, well, I figured out how to how to get them to work and uh, actually get jobs done. So I see. What the I, so I'm very amused and cannot wait to see how fa fantastically this screws up. Are, are you are you ready for this? Are yes. you ready for this? Do you know what the plan is going to be, Tev? Consider me excited, yes. It, okay, okay. So, I'm, I'm even going to put a big, pretty graphic up on the screen for everybody to understand. I am, oh. making, I am making the Corporate Artisanal Manufacturing Partnership. Oh. The Strife Corporate... Artisanal. Yes. The, 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 the Strife Corporate Artisanal Manufacturing Partnership. It, it will be... It is, it is amazing. A.K.A. Strife Camp, where, uh, where sounds... all of the workers... What? It sounds like something like you're making cheeses and breads and well, and jams. Well, that's the whole point, Ted. That's the whole point. That like I'm stealing the word artisanal. It's like whenever you say that you run a family company or or everybody oh. who works at the corporation is a family member and it's like, <laughs> yeah, right. Ugh, yes. Roaches under my foot. I'll kick them out the door whenever they uh, finish a deadline. But um <laughs> you're as you terrible. can see, so so our job here is one to oh, get that's... down into a cave. Um, That's a lot of clay. Yes, I already had a shipment of clay come in. I've been digging, I, I've been digging uh, my hands raw lately. I well, I actually ran out Are of money. Are you sure it's it, specifically your hands? Uh, your hands don't look raw to me. I actually had to do it on my own because like the money ran out. The money ran Aww. out for the for the road construction, and I had to get, I had to actually mine stuff up. Um, but uh, you know we've got we're out here with our basic supplies. But um, our job is to one get a 100 by 100 block area flat. That's the first sure. thing. And second is um, to get all of the resources gathered up. So, um, right. you got any torches on you? I sure do. Then uh, please let's head down into one of these caves and, you know, be relatively safe because- Sure, it's nightfall. I mean, I'd be safe. Look out. Oh, Ugh, yeah. Okay, well, that's, that's, not the, that's not the safe side. Let's try the other cave. <laughs> Yeah, let's try the other. Let's try I'm the other. Taking my torches back, skeletons. You can't have it. All right. So step one, Tev, we've got to get our hands on lots of coal, lots, lots of coal, and, and lots. Mm -hmm. We need coal. We need um. We need stone. So that's pretty There's much. There's also some iron here. Well, iron would probably <sighs> mining it out from underneath <laughs> me. You were standing on my iron. You troll. I I'm not a troll. You. You're a troll. No, no. I'm not a troll. You're an enormous That's troll. That's a completely different species than me, thank you. <laughs> You're living under a bridge. <laughs> Strictly speaking, we had to go under the highway to get in here, so you're living under a road, so... The thing about that, Strive, is that you're here with me. Yeah, of course I'm here with you. Why wouldn't I be? Because that also makes you a troll. I'm a squatter. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying this, but I'm a squatter. <laughs> You're, you're lowering se yourself down to the, the plebeians, the peasants. I'm... Okay, no, I'm not a squatter. But I am employed. I am employed. That's an important oh. part. Oh, so you're not being paid a living wage. Okay. I understand. <laughs> you're making things very... How can you do that to yourself? <sighs> this, this tomfoolery is not good. Uh, like, you're, you're, you're making a, a mockery of me here, Tev. Hun, you would need no help from me. <laughs> oh, my word. Them's fighting words, Tev. Are they? Are you gonna fight me? Not really, because there's not a whole lot of point. I don't. Um, you don't die, and, and neither do I, and well, it doesn't really matter. I don't die. You're already undead. Strictly speaking, I can't kill you. That's the big problem. And believe me, this point is not lost. We're just the poster child for a duo, aren't we? Well, I mean, technically. I don't know if I want to get that close to you. A CEO that can't die in a friggin' vampire. Eh. Bloodsucker. I mean, comes and goes. <laughs> Swings and goes in roundabouts. <laughs> I swear, you say that so often. I do. It's a good phrase. It's, it's your favorite phrase. Well, Tev, my pick just broke. I guess we're going to be squatting until morning. Squatting? Yeah. I'm a cave squatter right now. Your cave squatter. I right? I can't I can't. How deny does that it. make you feel? Let's let's get therapy in here. Let's. How do you feel about that? I'm leaving the cave. 
Bye bye. <laughs> There's my answer. I can't hear you anymore. In fact, you know what I'm going to do since I have the wood and the stone to get this done? What? I'm just going to go topside and I'm going to start leveling because we need that area. Oh, leveling is my favorite. Leveling ground is your favorite? Yes. What on earth? I prefer leveling ground to, say, mining stone. <laughs> what a what a unique interest you have. Well, I'd rather feel the dirt in my hands, the earth, and the movement, and my destruction of it. I'm in a unique situation here. There's a, there's a lot to be done. Are you in need of another shovel? I have six more. No, no, I have more shovels in my inventory. Don't worry about it, darling. <laughs> Do not worry about it. My... What did you... Listen. No, what did... What? What did you just call me? You called me darling. Blood-sucking freak. Ah, uh, there's the strife I know. God's sake. Did you think that I would ever say anything nice about you? Well, that's, that's why I had your sanity in question there. There's a little bit more leveling done. Man, this place is riddled with little caves. Yes. Just be sure you, any buildings you uh, build, I guess, uh, are not too heavy for the caves to handle and thus do not collapse into the earth. No, no, never. That would never happen. And besides, even if it did, everything will be properly insured. Five, ten... Insured. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Two more. Don't, don't these villagers know that insurance is a scam? See, insurance is not a scam, okay? Oh, it is. I, I, I make it very, it's, without insurance, where would they be? You know? All right, there we go. That's probably better off. What? What was that? Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, <coughs> I'm coughing. <laughs> That's what I'm doing, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sure. Whatever. All right, so there's uh, there's 50 count the other way. All right. I'm working on a bucket. Well done, Strive. Well done. A bucket. Well, I mean, you know, just uh, simple beginnings. Actually, you know what? Instead of making a bucket, I'll go ahead and make some more charcoal first. I mean, humble beginnings. I have 24 coal on me, though I know... Wait, did I not say... How you feel about what did charcoal? I say? You said charcoal. No, no. Like, what beginnings? What did I say? Sim you said simple beginnings. Ah, simple beginnings. No, humble. It's like humble the, it's a, it's the name. It, like it's the way that you describe every first episode of a Minecraft series ever. Humble beginnings. <laughs> Boy, nobody's ever done there that is before. Absolutely nothing humble about you. Of course, I'm humble. I only no, I no, I you I just you just are not. Listen, I was only given twelve million dollars whenever I was born. Okay. Oh, how terrible. You know how much... You must have felt so cheated. I was cheated. Do you have any clue how awful it was to be the poor kid at the at the uh, super rich prep school? <laughs> oh no, how terrible. Here I was wearing $300 shoes and everybody else had $1,000 shoes. I My heart goes out to you, Strive. I... I cannot imagine how terrible that must have been for you i'm telling you it was it was it was not good it was not good i was stuck the sheer embarrassment of 300 dollars shoes <sighs> i know you've had to claw your way out of that hole i was stuck with a three-year-old iphone how terrible I would have I would have pinned you for a six month old iPhone. <laughs> well, that's what everybody else was doing. I mean, in all honesty, they like they didn't even get to six months. Once it hit six months, they they would always donate it for toilet paper. But you know, that that was that do was. You, the... Do you care to elaborate on that? Well, yeah. I mean, once something gets past six months old, it's not worth keeping. So you just go, you know, you use it for toilet paper. Donate it for toilet paper. Well. Oh, 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 I see. Donate it as toilet paper to, to starving children. Yeah, in Ethiopia or something, you know, or, or wherever they're from. I don't know where the starving children are. I've never met one. Oh, you are a true wealthy person, aren't you? I'm, I'm the poster child for uh, a good citizen. Oh, <laughs> I'm so proud of you. No, uh, actually, thanks. I, I, I try. 
I, I, I do. You, you do realize that was sarcasm. Sarcasm? Why would you be sarcastic? Like, I'm doing good here. I have misgivings about your good doing. <laughs> your good deeds. Well, in any case, I have a bucket now. All right, this is one farm ready to go. Did you have those seeds on you still? Yes, I do. All righty, then. Where are they? Uh, in my I want to make certain that we don't starve to death here. You know, same. All right. If you would get out of my way, I will plant them. What are you doing? That's not, not the efficient way to do it. Oh, then show me the efficient way. Ugh. You foolio. Oh, wait. He calls me a foolio. And then he says, oh, wait. Listen, uh, like, I just, it was a misclick. It was a misclick. You're a misclick. Leave it that way. It'll, it'll grow faster. <sighs> Meanwhile, I'm also going to put these carrots in. And this one potato that I found. One potato. One potato and one carrot. You know, we'll have we'll have fields. We'll we'll have fields and fields of wonderful, you know, croppage. In the meantime, hold still. There we go. Sprinkling your seed on me, I see. Hocus pocus. What about it? Hmm? What? Hocus pocus? What about it? What about hocus pocus? I don't understand. Well, I didn't think you were that into magic. I'm not into magic. Why would you imagine that? Well, you said Hocus Pocus. Just because I said Hocus Pocus doesn't mean that I'm interested in magic. I see. Listen, sometimes I like talking nonsense. S saying nonsensical words can be fun sometimes, and Hocus Pocus is definitely one of them. Because it's magical. Honestly, what it sounds like is you are harboring a repressed need to try out new and exciting magics. Well, magics can be useful, alright, but... Dirty potty mouth magic is not exactly where I excel. Ah. Parvis understood that quite well. God rest his soul. Indeed. Although we both know that God's not resting that soul. Partially because he was <laughs> practicing blood magic. The other part is that he's not actually dead yet. How, I don't know. But you get the idea. Right. Uh, Parvis. One has to wonder what that foolish blood mage is getting himself up to these days. Probably something very exciting. You'll have to meet him one of these days. His nature. Oh, I would love to. Although I... I do question the dynamic that might spring up between the two of you. Indeed, we will, we will both annoy you. Mm. Very much. You're probably right about that. I was talking about the fact that you both have an affinity for blood. Well, they come from different uh, perspectives, of course. Hmm. All right, how much wood do I have here? Okay, I have a stack of 64 dark oak logs. I love dark oak. So we're going to go ahead and build our shack out of this. Shack from dark oak? Yeah, yeah, why not? I thought you were higher class. Well, let's get something straight. I was working out of a uh, shack whenever I started up Strife Solutions, so. Oh, well, I'm not good job. I'm not afraid to live out of a shack for a while. Don't worry, before long we won't be living in a shack, but until that time comes. <laughs> and by we, Where I just we mean living? me because you you're 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 Oh, oh, you're talking like the the, the royal we. Hokey pokey. Are, okay, are, are you just dying to dance or something? You keep saying hokey pokey. But that's what it's all about. Well, I, I walked right into that. Yeah, one. you did. You really did. Okay, Tev. Check it out. What? Our basic storage shack is complete. Yes. Yes, it is. And now... Okay. Okie dokie. I'm going to go ahead and make a couple of these signs. Signs for what? Well, we got to do a to-do list. We got to... We, and the wall right outside is perfect for doing this. So... All right. All right. Sign number one. Camp to-do list. Right. Perfect. Okay, so. Um, it's an artisanal to-do list. 
Yes, it is. It is indeed an artisanal to-do list. So first off, first first things first. Um, we gotta. So that's the first thing we gotta get done, right? Pretty, right. Pretty 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 simple. Second, we gotta. Perfect, right? Mine. Butt loads. Wouldn't that have two T's on it for butt? Shut up. <laughs> don't. I'm only editing your work. Don't don't like just just read the thing. Mine buttloads of stone. There we go. Okay, so st first off, we gotta level an area. T second, we gotta mine buttloads of stone. Third, we gotta. Third, smelt too much clay. See, pretty pretty simple and forward. Uh, indeed, that is pretty, very descriptive pretty, of what we will Pretty be simple doing. and forward. Then we've got. Uh... Next is cows and sugarcane. Okay, so so. I'm glad I grabbed that sugarcane back at the village then. Um, and... Begin building the walls. Yep, that's exactly it. Right. So, yeah. Yeah, there we go. The camp yes, to-do list. Exciting. We gotta level an area, we gotta mine a buttload of stone, we gotta smelt too much clay, cows and sugarcane are necessary, and we gotta begin building the walls. So, mm. you know, that's... I guess that's what we're gonna get up to before we come back next time. My word, <laughs> this is a lot of work to do. There's also a dead guy walking over here. Uh, I'll take care of him. Alrighty, there we go. Oh, I ran out of torches. Could you put one, one more right here? Right here. Right there. Right there. All right, perfect. So that's uh, that's. I, I guess we'll. I guess we'll come back next time for another round of this. Man, look at this place. Look at this place. It's big. It's big. There are creepers. I'm going back inside. <laughs> Oh yes, there's two. Get inside. No, sleep. I sleep. You're in my bed. Sleep. Just. You are in my bed. Uh. Oh, there's crumbs in the sheets. Try. What do you eat? Better than this side. It's stained with blood. Ugh. Yes. Tripe. Oh right. Creepers don't burn in the sun. No, they don't. All right, guys. So that's everything for us for this time around. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, pff, we've we've we're, we've started. We've started. Man, Camp Strife. It's exciting. Simple beginnings. Simple yes. beginnings. Never humble. humble. Never oh, humble. Never humble. Never humble. Is that our motto? Never humble. Yeah, Strife Solutions. Never humble. <laughs> it's, uh, that's that's one you can hang your hat on right there. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.